So today we're at the Dollar Tree and we're gonna see if it's humanly possible to build a complete survival kit from scratch. So, stick with me. So I was checking this out, and this could easily be converted with the tools you get into a trapping kit. Four ounces of hand sanitizer. That's a really, really good deal. Not the greatest, but it's a 21-piece kit. I mean, keep in mind, all of this is a dollar. Aspirin and caffeine will definitely keep you awake, but keep the pain down if you ever get into a rough situation while you're outdoors. This is a nice find for only a dollar. See, the selection here isn't really that good, but I decided on these two, these are the only options you have for some knives. Alternatively, for trapping, you get 60 zip ties and a six pack of snare wire, good for animal trapping. Found some, uh, a AAA battery flashlight. They were over there. Now, alternatively, you could use this one, but they're both a dollar, so, I don't think they'll be hardcore for anything drastic, like I don't think they'll survive a lot of drops or anything, but like I said, we're trying to build this kit strictly from the Dollar Tree. An 8-pack of AAA batteries to power the flashlight. Not the best, but 4 traps for a dollar. There are worse ways to trap and hunt. Now along the lines of shelter, this is about the cheapest shelter you can find, 70 by 72 inches, but a shower curtain. Hook it with some paracord and you're good to go. Petroleum jelly, first getting some fire started. So surprisingly enough, this Dollar Tree doesn't carry cotton swap, like cotton balls. However, they have cotton pom poms. So you get 60 fire starters to add to the Vaseline. Three pack of lighters so you can start the fire. So there's some cordage so you can do your shelter. And here's a mini LED uh, flashlight with a carabiner. I almost missed this one. You can use duct tape as fire tender and you're gonna grab too much duct tape. <laughs> I mean, definitely not ideal, but 60 birthday candles for a dollar. I'm not arguing. Depending on your environment, uh, thermal boot socks. These would come in handy in your kit. Yeah, they actually have a really huge magnifying Fresnel lens. Believe it or not, they actually had a paracord bracelet here. It's for the Suman, uh, Susan G. Komen, but paracord? I'm taking it if I can find it. Survival food? And according to this, it's still good until 20 May. The lines of survival food for a dollar. 22 ounces of spaghetti is for a dollar. Now the date still says it's good until November 2017. Alternatively, you can get a big huge can of baked beans. This took me completely by surprise. A rain poncho, a dollar. Now. How do we hold all this stuff? Now, remember what I said in the beginning. The entire challenge is to find a way to completely, from start to finish, shop only at the Dollar Tree. So, we found this bag. It's like a beach bag, but it's nice and sturdy and a dollar. Last but not least is oral hygiene. So, I'm back from my excursion from the Dollar Tree trying to build a legitimate, decently viable survival kit. Now, Something I want to iterate to my viewers, you, you guys watching. I wasn't there to build a survival kit and buy one and take it home. Frankly speaking, it's a desperation. Is it humanly possible? Can it actually be done? And yes, with all the gear I showed off, you could. You had some absolute basics. And these are three items that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. This is some of the stuff I ended up buying. This is super glue. These are single use packets. These will be good for some minor wound care so you can save that first aid kit. I didn't like the color, uh, the colorful <laughs> birthday candles. So I got these all white ones uh, just so they can be a uniform color. And when I see them in a pack, I just know what they are. And you still got 24 and I like them a little bit better. They're a little bit more robust. And finally, this has got to be the coolest find at I have found. This is a lot of juke quarters. This is a three pack 
118 feet per roll, which is freaking amazing. A dollar. So for three bucks, I was able to get all of this. So I got a little bit of minor first aid and quite a bit of fire starting. And you, I mean, you saw the Fresnel lens and all that other stuff that was there. It was absolutely amazing. So uh, definitely uh, don't count out the Dollar Tree. And if you are someone who is like, I'm on a fixed income or I don't have a job or I'm too young to do this, you're not too young and you don't not have enough money. There is always an excuse why you can go to a store in this case, the Dollar Tree, and spend at least $1 on a survival item to start building your kit if you absolutely need to get a kit and you this is something you're truly passionate about. However, that does it for now, guys. Definitely throw a big thumbs up on this video if these are the kind of awesome scavenger hunts and do-it-yourself products you want to see. I appreciate everyone who's sharing this video out in advance, and that about does it. Hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.